Hi Sagittarius, this is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to do your general collective energy read for Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This is not going to resonate for every Saggy, but it will for some. The messages can be fluid because time is fluid. So this can be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This can be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, as well as the divine counterparts. Family, anytime you were guided or led to my channel, you clicked on a video, it was either time for you to receive the message or give it to someone else that it resonated for that you know. If it did not resonate for you at that present time, come back and check later. Maybe we have something that will. Also, family, um, if you do not uh, resonate with this as your sun sign, check your moon, your rising, your Mercury, Venus, North Node, South Node, and Stellium. This can also resonate for Vedic or Sidereal Astrology as well, family. How is everybody doing tonight? I pray that you are all doing well. I pray that everybody is taking care of themselves, doing what's necessary, your prayers, your meditations, your affirmations. Thank you to everyone who has continued to subscribe to my channel, those who have been with me blah, 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 since day one, and those of you who are new, thank you so much. God bless you, and welcome everybody, and thank you for sharing your journey with me. At the bottom of the deck, I've got the Queen of Swords. So Sagittarius, some of you have Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius in your, um, <clears throat> in your chart, or there could be uh, an air sign around you. But for some of you, there's something that you're gaining knowledge about and you could be gaining enlightenment that you need to cut some things off. Some of you are feeling um, a little disconnected from yourselves emotionally. Some of you could be very tired, physically drained, mentally emotional. Maybe there's too much stress that's going on with family, work, and home. Some of you are coming out of feeling left out in the cold in a situation. This could be family, this could be work, this could be love. But um, some of you could definitely be dealing with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo does not have to be. Maybe someone came in and gave you some type of fan financial assistance where it could um, help you with your income to help you balance out things. We have the Prince of Cups. So some of you could have water in your chart or dealing with someone that has water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody could have um, offered you love, a cup of love in the past. Maybe this person was immature, childish, cruel with their behavior, their mindset. But we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So currently at this time, you are currently focused on your money. Some of you may be working multiple jobs. Maybe some of you are working multiple jobs to establish a business, move, relocate. It could be anything, but you are laser focused on your money right now. Your money is growing. It's blossoming. It looks beautiful. You could also be releasing yourself from something so your ships can come in. Some of you have been holding down the fort is what I'm hearing. What else can you tell me for my Saggies? Yeah, this is a lot of pain here, Saggies. Some of y'all are... Um, in the Five of Cups, maybe you're dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, someone that could be older, but they act immature. But this person, um, it seems like the love is lost here for some reason. Um, this could be uh, people, places, or things. I'm not getting so much love. For some of you, it is love. For others of you, I'm feeling like some of this is family for some of you. Some of you are ready to take some level of action. Uh, some level of communication here. You're in your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So either you could be dealing with a water sign or there's a water sign. Either you've lost love for them or they have lost love for you. There's some love loss here, a great deal of it. There's a lot of regret, a lot of pain, a lot of disappointment, a lot of hurt here. There's a new beginning here as well with love. There's a water sign, or if not, it just could be the energy that you guys are embodying. Somebody here could be highly emotional at this present time. Some of you are dealing with someone from your past, an ex, uh, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, past life soulmate. We've got uh, tons of water starting to show up in the reading, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you 
there's an offer that's coming back in. Somebody is wanting, maybe some of you have a new um, offer in love with a water sign or another a water sign, an older water sign may want a second chance with some of you. But somewhere along the line, there was some lies, deception, and betrayal here. We have the Seven of Swords. So you could have been dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that could have been dishonest with you, deceptive. Um, there was something toxic here, something very codependent. For some of you, this is love. For others of you, this is family and arguing. Um, the love section, I've got somebody here that feels like they were betrayed by um, a water sign or an air sign, possibly an earth sign. But we definitely got a Capricorn here. And if it's not a Capricorn, there's some type of toxic energy, fam, that you need to three of wands it. Free yourself. Allow your ships to come in. Something is blocking you, family. And it doesn't have to be financially, but this is definitely something in a home where you're no longer feeling left out in the cold, emotionally, financially, or spiritually is what I'm being told. Some of you, this is your divine counterpart possibly coming out of the cold, or this is you coming out of the cold, Sagittarius, in a long-term commitment relationship. Some of you, this relationship, you have been a soulmate to this person since Egypt. So this has been a very, very long journey every time. And look at what's down here at the bottom of the deck. The six of swords. So um, the four and six is ten. So that's a new beginning here. That's why the ace of cups is here for you guys. Not all of you, some of you. But there needs to be some level of balance in a home some level of balance in your state of mind in order for this to move forward, family. Some of you could definitely be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or another fire sign like yourself. Somebody is definitely coming out of feeling betrayed, backstabbed, lied, gossip about. Um, somebody that was maybe a liar, vindictive, could have been a water sign. Or a water sign with air in their chart. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I've got two fives in reverse. So this is 10. I got three fives on the board. So some of y'all could be seeing five, five, five in a situation. Some of you are definitely trying to mentally balance yourself in order to move forward in a situation. We have your energy here, Saggies. Princess of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy. Some of you are passionately working your asses off to get what it is that you need in life. You're looking for stability, balance in a home, a family, a connection. Some of you are in a spiritual connection and it's coming to a head right now. What else do you have for my Sagittarians? Spirit, what we got? Spirit reversing my cards. Woo, these divine feminines are coming up in the reverse. You are no longer there. It is like you said, Scotty, beam me up. I'm out. I'm done. A lot of you, there is no more opportunity to be creative in this relationship. Whatever it was, the creativity is dead. It's done. You have no love for it. And it could definitely be with a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, a Cancer to be exact for a lot of you. Um, this person could be hiding their emotions for you. A lot of you um, could be just no longer feeling the love, the emotion. Uh, sometimes the empress can be promiscuous, but right now there's no creativity. Someone could also have miscarried on a baby. So if you guys, if there's anybody you know, or if, uh, any of you guys that miscarried, my condolences, family. But this is Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Aries energy. Yeah, you guys got a new beginning and a passionate new beginning in love with possibly a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone, possibly Capricorn. Someone that you're that is heavily focused on their finances. This person is stable, abundant. This person could work and have their own part-time business on the side. Or they could have their own business. Or this person could walk, work in a position of power and authority where they work at. But this person is usually uh, well-liked, well-loved uh, by family, friends. This person could be very loving, very loyal, um, nurturing, um, very good at providing and protecting their family. Uh, people come to this person for wise counsel, seek advice. 
and they can also be like a little star in their community, but there's definitely some love here. So some of you could be dealing with an earth sign that has water in their chart. And this is a soulmate to you. Some of you <laughs> woo, are not cutting something out. Um, you may have become very irate. You became, maybe became very bitchy about somebody giving you an apology. Maybe you said, fuck that apology. I don't want it. I don't need it. Because I got two women here in the reverse. So maybe there was another woman involved in this situation. And you're just like, you know what? Keep the apology. I don't want the apology. I don't want the offer. This could be with an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. Yeah, something definitely came to an end. We got... Uh, Scorpio energy here, Scorpionic energy. So something definitely had to go through a death and a rebirth in order for some level of passionate action to take place. Or some of you could have dealt with someone that was in and out of your life, very inconsistent, very unstable. Uh, player energy, male or female. Somebody got tired of being in their head and being emotionally unbalanced and walked away from this situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Tell me more, spirit. Whoa, your cards is flying, fam. Yeah, somebody is tired of feeling left out in the cold financially and emotionally. Somebody may have taken a financial loss here. Could be a earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone could have been in a family situation, maybe where there it was unbalanced. The love uh, unbalanced the finances in this situation is what I'm seeing. So someone could have walked away from a situation because there was no more love there and it started affecting the finances. As soon as somebody freed themselves, either you or them, Sagittarius, your money started to pick back up again. Your growth started to happen again for you. And it's also bringing in an opportunity for new love. But I feel like for some of you, you guys need to balance your emotions and heal. Yeah, I got a husband and wife in here. The husband is in the upright so he's working on his, uh, out of his logical or analytical self, male or female. Um, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. I also look at this person as Capricorn too, because this person could be very disciplined, very focused, especially when it comes down to finances. And like I said, we got a Capricorn here. So if you noticed up here on this crag of the mountain, we have a Capricorn here. So some of you could definitely be dealing with somebody that is very focused, very blunt, very honest, straightforward about what they say. Everything that I say, I mean exactly that. I mean what I say and I say what I mean. This is some type of fated and destiny. Here is something uh, with a water sign. So some of you may have destiny and fate with an air sign, an earth sign, but some of you definitely, it's a water sign. Archangel Michael is here to help you temper and balance this situation. A lot of you need to balance your head and heart because somebody could be very cold and detached, very bitchy, very mean, very vindictive, very cold. We have the high priestess here. Some of you, Sagittarius, you definitely in your energy in the upright. So a lot of you are balancing and healing a situation. There was time and patience that was needed. There could have been a lot of secrets that came to an end in a situation. Possibly with a water sign, somebody for a, if either a water sign, <clears throat> an air sign, or an earth sign. Someone that is a soulmate to you. We have Pisces Cancer energy on the High Priestess. So somebody used their intuition and put it into a situation. Yes, somebody was in a situation where there was a lot of memories of past love regrets. Could have been dealing with a water sign. If this is not a water sign, you guys were highly emotional and you needed to gain balance where the soulmate was concerned. A lot of you, if this wasn't you, your person could have been in a lot of anxiety, a lot of hurt, and a lot of pain for losing you or either you losing them. There is a healing, a renewal, a balance. There's a wish here. 
Some of you could have Aquarius in your chart. And you, if you lost money, family, this is what it's about to be like. You may have taken a loss or your person could have taken a loss, but somebody is getting ready to rise like a phoenix. This is faded. This is destiny coming through. So some of you are about to be doing really, really well where your finances were coming through. Looks like spirit came through and dropped a tower on that ass. Boom. So somebody could go through a transformation, a change for their highest good. I got the death card and the tower here in this reading. So there was something that was very transformative that needed to take place. And somebody needs to get together and work on their healing in order for this empress to come back up in the upright because in the reverse, she doesn't co-create with God. Spirit, universe, or whatever it is you believe in, somebody is moving forward in a situation that could have came to an end. Yeah, they could have ended it with another soulmate, someone that they may have thought was a divine counterpart, but they're coming to find out that this person was nothing more than a lesson. This is either you, Sagittarius, or your person. Could have been dealing with a water sign, Cancer specifically. Cancer is showing up very, very strongly for you, Sagittarius. This is the water and fire vertex that we're going through. Yes, somebody is becoming single, and I got a feeling it's this Cancer, or either he is coming towards you and sees you as beautiful, handsome, abundant, stable, grounded. Mm hmm. Yeah. Doing your damn thing. Somebody fears rejection because maybe they rejected you in the past, Sagittarius, or either you rejected this person in the past. This person may have been very cold and detached and aloof. Maybe when you guys were at one point a couple, an item, whatever it was that you were involved with, with this water sign, because this water sign is showing up very prominently in your reading. They want you to know that they are coming towards you. They could be fearing some level of rejection be because of the way they behaved in the past or presently now. Yeah, somebody absolutely adores someone here. Some of you could be older or younger than your person. It's a water sign. I'm telling you, this water sign is having a lot, excuse me, of emotions towards you. Somebody walked away with their head all messed up. They had to free themselves. This is either you or your person. They may have been involved with another water sign like themselves or an earth sign, a fire sign. Could be this empress here, Taurus, Virgo, Libra, Aries energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, all signs are here. So it could be anybody that this person is walking away from. What else? Yeah, somebody's walking away from a lot of rejection. They could be doing a lot of drinking heavily at this time. Somebody definitely could have ghosted somebody, retreated to go within so they could gain wisdom and guidance. There's a lot of hurt here. I have the wounded warrior here. So some of you could have been dealing with somebody that was very hurt. They could have been trapped by past hurts as well. Um, yeah, somebody definitely had to free themselves in order for their ships to come in. Yeah, what a soulmate. <coughs> so they're leaving one soulmate to come to another soulmate. So let's see what's going on, Saggies. All right, Spirit, tell me about this Five of Pentacles, please. Some of you, if this is not your energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this is another fire sign or somebody embodying the energy of a fire sign. You're coming out of a broken heart. You're no longer heartbroken about something. You're healing. Tell me about this Prince of Cups. Yeah, somebody offered somebody marriage, commitment, long-term. A soulmate. Who did they offer it to? You or another person? Who did they offer it to, spirit? I got uh, water, heavy water, and earth. Taurus, to be exact. Someone that they regret offering that cup of love to. This water sign regrets offering whoever they offer love to. If it wasn't you that has regrets, Sagittarius, then it was the water sign that has regrets about going into a marriage possibly with a Scorpio. 
somebody that was flighty and unstable in love. Give me something on this eight, spirit. Good Lord, y'all cards is jumping, fam. Yeah, somebody had a choice to make and somebody didn't put the work in. Maybe they didn't see your value or your worth at that time, Scorpio. I mean, damn, uh, Sagittarius. Somebody may have went and chose somebody else over you. Somebody that uh, this water sign could have chose a Gemini. But now this person is, ooh, I got a, look at this. I got a pair, a husband and wife again. Somebody is upside down. Somebody is a liar. Somebody is a deceiver. Somebody is, ooh, vindictive where money and everything is concerned. Something is coming out here in this family situation for somebody. This is either you, Sagittarius, or this is your person. Somebody is going through some level of judgment, some level of karma. It could be some level of finances, um, legal uh, judgment, some type of spiritual judgment. But somebody is getting a lesson here. And I'm talking about a major one. And it's involving money, love and money. Because it's all sitting on the eight. So somebody is laser focused on money right about at this time. Yeah, there's some lesson here that's involved. Somebody had a hell of a lesson to learn about money and finances. Mm-hmm. I feel that somebody married for love. I mean, for money, not love. And now they're understanding that was no. That was the wrong thing to do. So this water sign could be gaining truth and clarity about um, an air sign or an air sign could be getting truth and clarity about a water sign. Somebody is cutting something out. If this isn't your person, Sagittarius, then this is you because somebody here is up in their head at night. They are seriously in deep thought, stressed out, agitated, pissed off. Yeah, somebody wants to reconcile a new beginning in love. Yeah, somebody is willing to put a, put work in it. But I'm also seeing that the problem in the past for somebody, somebody didn't believe in commitment, marriages, and they kept it open where they could move in and out freely. And maybe this marriage stopped all of that and it caused problems for somebody. Yeah, somebody could have been hiding that they had multiple options. This could have created a lot of confusion, a lot of illusions in a marriage that went upside down. And I see a third party here. What else, spirit? So this union is no longer in service. Yeah, this king of cups, his situation is bottoms up. Mm-hmm. But they're spying. Either you're spying on them. Well, if you came to this reading, you're spying too, Sagittarius. But if this isn't you, then they're spying on you. We got uh, some level of communication or some level of action that's needed to be taken at this time. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Somebody could have lied about working on a situation. Give me something else on that, Spirit. Yeah, somebody might have made some promises that they didn't keep with a um, earth sign about working on a situation. And somebody is not, um, this is not over. This is still in, this is still not, it's not done. The wheel is still turning on this situation in order for it to end. See here, there's death waiting for this relationship. Whatever this is, death is waiting on it to end. But right now, somebody's fighting this. Somebody could be lying. Somebody could be taking some level of passionate action. Somebody may have caught somebody stuck with a baby in this situation. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be lying that they're still pregnant about a damn baby too. Let's go, spirit. Mm. So if this isn't you lying about a baby, Sagittarius, this is your person's person lying that they still pregnant. Somebody telling a lie. Somebody need to free themselves from a fucking marriage in order for them ships to come in. They got a choice to make, Sagittarius. Either you do or they do. But somebody need to pick a side. Yeah, somebody's ready to come out of a burden where they've been lied to, backstabbed, and betrayed. There could have been a lot of family members, a lot of stress, and a lot of burdens. God had to step in and put somebody in time out. Somebody could have went to jail behind this shit. Oh my God, this is hella toxic. 
So some of y'all could have been dealing with somebody. If this isn't you, Sagittarius, then this is your person. This is your divine counterpart going through it. This person has been lied to, backstabbed, and betrayed, left in total abandonment. They're coming out of some type of burdens. This Every last one of these wands could represent some type of burden that they're coming out of. And they're coming out of some kind of drama, drama conflict, chaos. God is in the midst. Thank you, spirit. Because this shit is what? Toxic. Somebody is hella codependent. Somebody could be drinking. Somebody could be dealing with some type of addiction. Uh, some type of codependency that they're coming out. If not, this is a Capricorn that they're bound to. Yeah, there's some level of karmic justice that's coming through. Woo, betrayal. I got tens on the board. This is definitely a damn ending. Third party situation. That heartbreak is real. Somebody is going through some level of legal action. They're taking passionate action to go through some type of justice because there is betrayal here. Somebody may have even killed somebody here too. Ooh, this could have been a crime of passion for one specific person. I can't say that for everybody, but I just, the spirit just said, pay attention, look again. Wow. But there's some type of legal justice, karmic justice, in order for this relationship, marriage, whatever it is, to come to an end. Somebody saw, um, somebody has wished fulfillment. Now all they do is spend their damn days drinking and overindulging because they're, the, the love is gone. The creativity is gone. The, the, the beauty of the relationship or the marriage or whatever it was is gone in this situation. Somebody is trying to say somebody's pregnant. If this isn't you, Sagittarius, this is your person dealing with somebody that's like, maybe they came back in to apology. Maybe it was a drunk apology and maybe somebody said, okay, we'll do this and boom, somebody says I'm pregnant. Mm, there we go. Yeah, there's a soulmate here, somebody from your past, an ex. Um, this person could be very cold, very detached, very stern, but they're very wise. Um, some of y'all may be dealing with a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could be an ex-husband, an ex-wife, ex-boyfriend, girlfriend, ex-soulmate, past life soulmate. Some of y'all are dealing with past life soulmates that are coming back in. Them roost, those, those birds done came home to roost and whatever the situation is. And it's like, whatever they're going through, it has escalated. It's hitting a crescendo and it's about to hit a cliffhanger too. Some of y'all could be dealing with somebody that's got water and earth in their chart. If this isn't you, then this is them. But whatever it is, whoever is this bitchy ass person they dealing with, somebody is not moving forward. Somebody's perspective is off. It's like your intuition is off. You so unbalanced. All you can deal with is being left out in the cold. This is where your mind is. You're not taking a leap forward. You're not. There's no movement. Something's got to stop. Something got to change. Yeah, look at this. High priestess, high priestess. So somebody is putting an end to secrets because truth is coming out. Could be a water sign with a Pisces Cancer and a Scorpio. I got a Scorpio over here for the death card. Pisces Cancer on the high priestess. So somebody is using their intuition either to end something or... Or either somebody got some truth about some secrets and this shit is coming to the end. Because this Aquarian, Gemini or Libra or Capricorn, somebody is getting straight to it. They want nothing but the truth, so help me God like a damn judge. This is either you or them. Yeah, somebody is no longer invested in somebody that was a player. And somebody is trying to avoid a tower. This could be a earth sign with fire in their chart. Airy, scorpionic energy on the, on the tower. Somebody is scared as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Yeah, somebody trying to dodge a player or trying to dodge some level of action. Somebody is coming out of something that's hella toxic where a family situation is involved. There's a Capricorn here, heavy earth here, or either there's a lot of codependency, which was ruined. It could have financially ruined a person, left somebody in financial ruin, Sagittarius, either you or them. I'm picking up multiple stories, so go with it, fam. 
Y'all got to understand when people do readings, we're not just reading specifically for you. So if you thumbs down the shit, that's what you do. If you don't like the video, that's cool. But you're not the only person that's here for a reading. So if you want a personal reading, that's why they got multiple readers out here. Go get you a reading, boo. But in the meantime, somebody is coming out of financial ruin in a situation. Somebody could have stole money. Jesus. Somebody could have hid some damn money. But there's some secrets that's coming out. Somebody's pride and ego is all over this. Somebody could be hiding that they getting a lawyer too. And they got a hellified lawyer that's going to bring a win. Mm, I did not see that either. Somebody slicing through the truth. Woo, somebody's lesson about a broken heart. There's a lesson here about a broken heart. There's the emperor right there. Boom. So I got a divine counterpart over here that's either learning a lesson about heartbreak and what to do to fix it where family is concerned. I told you I smelt family in this situation. There you are, divine temperance. Divine timing is at work in this relationship. Sagittarius is either you, your person, or both of you, but divine timing is at work. Spirit needs y'all to heal family issues, wounding. Yeah, there is healing in a heartbreak with family, a marriage, a commitment, but there is divine timing at work on this. It's sitting on the wheel. Spirit is in the house and you will not pass until you do the healing family. Judgment. Yeah, somebody here is trying to heal an addiction. And their pride and ego. Somebody's pride and ego gets them in trouble. And so does this addiction. Somebody got a sexual addiction here too. That's why one of the reasons divine timing is at play right here. Especially if this is a divine counterpart. And I smell divine all over this. Boom. Somebody is not talking or not taking some action they need. They intuitively know that they're supposed to talk about something that was an ending or a breakup. So there could be some level of healing is what I'm feeling. But somebody is still not talking. Somebody wants a passionate new beginning where there was a lot of heartbreak, a lot of regret, a lot of remorse, a lot of old memories of hurt. There's not, something is not moving forward out of a choppy situation. Somebody's still too in their head to release it, to let it go. But this is a lesson that you're meant to learn. Somebody is trying to uh, control a situation. That might be another lesson too. You don't have control over anything except for you. Focus on you. Either you, Sagittarius, or your person. Somebody wants to rush in and give you an offer. It may be a small offer, but is it a solid one? Yes, it comes in. Somebody owes somebody an apology. You could be at a distance from this person. It could be a water sign with earth in their chart. Somebody knows somebody owes somebody an apology. Either you owe them, a, them an apology, Sagittarius, or your person owes you an apology. But somebody is coming in with an offer, an apology, and they're going to start out this way because this is what's coming behind it. Let's see what else is coming behind it, fam. Is this going to lead? What is this going to lead to, spirit? This offer. The truth. Beautiful. But somebody's a little scared of you, Sagittarius, or either you're scared of them. Maybe you said something that was hurtful. Maybe your truth was hurtful in the past, or maybe their truth was hurtful to you in the past, Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody could have been deceptive and dishonest about being single. Somebody may have been a liar about leaving, being single. But it ultimately left somebody out in the cold. Somebody may have had to move because they got caught up talking to a single person. Now somebody doesn't want to take any action. Now somebody wants to calm down their reckless behavior. This is this person with some bad addiction behavior. This is either you, Sagittarius, or a Leo specifically. 
or somebody that's got Leo in their chart. Yeah, somebody's went through a breakup. They were tired of the mental pain. I got, I heard pressure. Somebody felt like they were in a pressure cooker. And this was messing with somebody's head. Somebody might have been having migraines behind this. Yeah, somebody put an end to it. They got tired of it. They got tired of it. And they wanted love someplace else. Wasn't getting, wasn't getting it there because guess what? It was imbalanced, highly imbalanced. Crumbs. Somebody was giving somebody crumbs. Either you were giving somebody crumbs, Sagittarius, or somebody else was, and they were highly damn manipulative. Selfish, stingy, all about self. This has been your reading, family. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, share with your family, friends, and coworkers. Family, you can find me on Instagram. I do angel messages, oracle messages, and crystal messages there. On Facebook, I would like to start a gathering where we can come under one umbrella, sit down and talk in private without having to fear that any of our little thoughts, secrets, or plans are exposed. And you can find me here on YouTube as Ascended Twin 144K. Oh, on Facebook, I'm Nikita Kelly, Ascended Twin. Love you, soul fam. Take good care of yourselves. Peace.